instead it comes out, then I, I'll i just work slowly in a circular motion, work my, <coughs> my palm of my hand to, yeah. to expel any clots, because sometimes there's clots that build up behind the placenta. So this will help to expel any clots, and then I just hold and keep it, keep it small so that otherwise in between contractions it gets loose and can fill up with blood. And then it can form a clot, and then it, ble it, it can't contract as well the next time, and then it fills up with more blood, and then, then you have a hemorrhage inside. But that's only so, in some very you know unusual yeah. cases. She's just saying how to prevent so it. I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying that's a precautionary measure. If you want to be sure, or you want to help assure that she's not going to hemorrhage, then just, just keep your hand on there. Just do a pretty good pressure. And if she's gushing blood, then you put both hands and you just push with all of your weight as hard as you can. Because it's, it's just like a gush. Uh, a, wound, a big gushing wound on your arm, you, you want to compress the wound to stop the bleeding. But if she's still in good condition, I think a gentle massage is all it really is. You don't want to hurt the mom. There's no reason to hurt a mom in the normal course of things. So if the mom's going, ow, ow, one, ow. One of my, I think I'll be worse 